Welcome to NECA's April Safety Minute, bringing you the latest safety news. Sponsored by NECA and Intech, developers of eSafety Line. The National Institute of Safety and Health made a blog post to help improve PPE fit for all workers, including workers in the construction industry. This includes fall harnesses, safety shoes, safety glasses, hard hats or helmets, earplugs or muffs, and respirators. PPE must fit properly to provide the appropriate protection. OSHA announced that its publication, Prevent Heat Illness at Work, is now available in nine different languages. This colorful pamphlet offers simple suggestions on how to protect yourself and others from heat stress hazards and how to recognize and respond to heat illness. President Biden released his FY 2024 federal budget request. The White House is seeking a 17% funding increase for OSHA under the Department of Labor's fiscal year 2024 budget request. The Biden administration is requesting approximately $738.7 million for the agency, an increase of more than $106.3 million from FY 2023. April's eSafety Line Talks will address dropped objects. And subscribers will find new links to free webinars on bullying and violence in the workplace, creating a successful eyewear program, hard hats, and medical surveillance. For a complete list of monthly updates and support for your safety program, subscribe to eSafety Line by visiting the NECA website and the NECA store.